Welcome back to Sprague River Homestead. So Nikki's off today. She is traveling today. She has a friend that is moving that needed some place for her quail and rabbits to go. And so she is headed over the mountain over onto I-5 and picking those up. But while she's over there, she had a couple of customers in Salem that wanted some rabbits. So she is taking some rabbits over for sale. And then she's picking up some other stuff to bring home, which means today I'm here all by myself with just the puppers out having a good bark on this morning. And I thought I'd give you an update for what's going on probably the last couple weeks since I've shown you anything. Now concerning all of our gardens, everything is going pretty good for the fall. You can see here in one of the domes, this was the recent plants I'd shown you guys probably maybe three weeks, a month ago, kind of after Nikki had planted it. I've taken over the watering pretty much and it's really starting to flourish. So the last few nights we have had some salads, which has been great. Uh, just, you know, you have a sandwich, go out and pick some lettuce or some kale or some collards or something, throw it up on the salad or a sandwich. It's just, just a little bit of roughage there to go into fall, which we normally don't have, but it's been kind of nice this year. We actually have had it available and it's been good. Just a good supplement for everything else to keep you nice and healthy. Speaking of quail, the Nikki had showed you a couple weeks ago, or I did, that we were uh, had quail available. So these are the guys that hatch. They are growing awesome. And uh, we had a turkey grow <laughs> hatch this week. So it's the last bird that we we're going to hatch this year, most likely. So there's a little turkey in there with them that's right now about the same size. And uh, he will quickly outgrow them. But just wasn't really big enough yet to get in with the bigger birds. But they're doing great. I've been steadily working on painting. You can see everything on the new extension uh, really, this is the sunroom, but the mudroom is the same way. You can see up along all the eaves there, I've got everything covered in the kind of the green. I guess you'd say it's a mint green, maybe. But that's all done, at least in one coat. So I need to go back through real quick, just uh, throw in a second coat there. And then everything I've touched up on the windows, I, I've got some green on there. I need to touch up with white. And that'll be done. Uh, that will leave us just the trim which this is, these corners are going to be brown, which we have not bought, but we'll probably get that this weekend to where that's bought. Then here's the other side of the house, so that is all painted. Still need to get kind of up under the eaves, but at least everything has paint on it. I don't have to worry about that other than the corner trim. Still, that needs to be brown, but everything else is at least covered that if for some reason I couldn't get back to it, it would sit the winter. It wouldn't degrade or uh, worry about the wood other than the corner trim. And that's gonna be easy to do, very simple to quickly do it. Now also yesterday I did get up there and put the, or I guess I cleaned the stove out. We've been hitting the high 20s overnight and really the stove is ready to go. So I got up there, cleaned that all out. You can see the roof is cleaned off from pine needles and that, so everything is good to go. We can start fires, cause it's supposed to be starting to hit, uh, I wanna say low 70s, high 60s for the day. So may start using the fireplace this weekend or next. So now if you saw the title, you're probably wondering how in the world did a mouse, I don't know if you're gonna say burn the house down, almost burn the house down, almost cost us everything, but it was quite exciting. So let me explain. So what you're looking at here is our backup generator on the solar system, which is really next, to, this is the house. So the other night I came out here Started up the generator like I always do. Checked all the fluids. Everything was good. Got the cooling fan on and I walked away. So I went out to the domes. So you guys that have seen a lot of our content, you know, here's the house, driveway, greenhouses, and the domes. So when I normally set the generator, I just turn it on and essentially walk away. After I checked all the fluids, I know it's going to be good. So I was out there into there. Now, generator it's pretty loud so you can hear it out there and when i was out there it started to bog down it was running 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 charging the batteries and it just went Bleh! it just kind of fell on its face and i thought uh-oh something's wrong so i came running down the driveway so i came and looked at the generator because i normally run it with the doors open so there's plenty of uh heat escape paths i guess you'd say so it doesn't overheat or anything else so i came and looked in here and I didn't see anything wrong. There was nothing going on. And so I had turned it down. I turned it off. Double checked everything. It all seemed to be fine. No problem. So I started it back up. 
And that's when everything was going along. The smoke started pouring out of everything in here. And these cooling fans, smoke just start rolling out of there. And I thought, whoa, something is definitely wrong with the generator. So normally behind this tape, there's a recess in here that's meant to have wiring going if you need to. What I couldn't see from looking in that direction was down behind here, there was actually a mouse that had gotten in this hole. Now, he actually, <laughs> he was only in there halfway. He got stuck right around his ribs or his hips or whatever else and couldn't go anywhere. And so what he did is he either chewed, I'm not sure, he either chewed or he just started digging at whatever he could. Well, inside this case is the wires that come out and go to the house. So they come out over here. And so you can imagine 110 volts, let's say 110 volts, and I don't know how many amps going through a little bit of a mouse. So as you can imagine, that kind of power and amperage going through a mouse, well, he was quite black at the, point, the time I found him. I actually only could pull out half of him. The other half was stuck inside the generator, but he was crispy. So I ended up taking him, uh, pulling out whatever parts I could. Then I took out the, uh, took off the case, looked inside there, and sure enough, there was the other half of the mouse. You can imagine his face. He was not, uh, well, I should say he was shocked um, that he was touching it. So anyway, what he ended up doing was taking some of the wires, touching the case, which was ground, so you can imagine positive and negative touching, was the immediate spark and arc of the generator trying to burn itself to the ground. Now, if we weren't here and, and wouldn't have caught it, I have no idea the damage that it would have done. It could have exploded. No idea. So anyway, I, that night I went out and uh, took off the old generator head, or at least got most of it off. It had uh, not done well through the uh, sparking, I guess you'd say. So I let it sit overnight. The um, generator head itself kind of had rusted itself on it. It's a metal to metal connection in there of what spins the coils inside of it or spins the, the stator inside of it. So the next morning I ended up getting off, putting on the backup generator head. That's why this one looks so shiny. That's why it looks so fresh. You can see how nice and clean it is. The other one had about six years of use and I've got some parts I'm trying to find for it to rebuild it. The physical piece of it is good. It's the electrical I'm kind of nervous about because, man, it, it sure it took one heck of a, uh, a beating getting arced together. So that one's at least good and uh, everything runs. We've run a couple times since then and no issues other than now I know how to take my generator apart uh, under duress. So now a tragedy avoided. Today, one of my goals or a couple of my goals is to get the generator uh, serviced up so I need to put in a new oil filter a new oil change I need to get the coolant changed on it I haven't done that yet since I've we've owned it for six years so I change the coolant in it get it ready all serviced up so that way the winter stuff that we normally do or I normally do to service everything is done I'm gonna do an oil change on the ATV and get it serviced up so I don't have to worry about it anymore and then uh, probably the rest of the day I'll probably just be working on painting and some other things uh, I've got a couple car things I'm working on of course but you know those are those are when you have time so there's the epic story of how a mouse well could have cost us everything but it didn't hey yay we're still here and uh, trying to get ready for winter fire season's coming and a subtle reminder but not so subtle we have a rabbit class for the ultimate rabbit class coming up next weekend. If you haven't signed up or you're still interested, you got a couple days to uh, learn some knowledge you won't find anywhere else. It's only 50 bucks per person here at the uh, farm, the homestead and that, and lunch is included on Saturday, plus maybe some tours and everything else. So we're getting ready for that. Next week, we probably will not have any videos out. We're not sure yet. We'll have to film them ahead of time. Um, so we'll be getting ready for the class and then once we have that run through we can decide on how to film it all to make it worth um, uploading it and we'll figure out how to get you guys uh, the material subject by subject we need to do some better work on our end to outline it to make it a little bit more um, 
a little bit more digestible, I would say, in chunks and that. So that's on us. Otherwise, if you guys have any questions, comments, anything else, leave it down below. Be sure to hit subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Like the video, share it, and rodent-proof uh, your house and everything else. Because you never know, one little mouse could cost you everything. We'll see you next time.